Warning, this video may contain adult language and swearing, as well as adult topics and themes. Therefore, it's neither made for kids nor intended for them. Even if the topic I'm talking about is usually aimed towards kids, this video is not for them. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you for your attention. So this is future me. Um, I'm currently editing, editing the video and... Just a quick little disclaimer, this video is no legal advice and should not only taken with a grain of salt, but with a shit ton of it. Enjoy. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everything in between and neither. Copper stresses me the fuck out and I got my period one week late because of that stress and I'm not usually on time. So, that's worrying. What's also worrying is that I deleted almost all of my videos and set all 16 leftover videos except for one on private because I'm not sure anymore where all of this falls because the FTC made guidelines so grey that they are fucking Anastasia Steele in a kinky way with questionable consent. So, like, how channel owners can determine if their content is directed to children? And <coughs> Starting with the first sentence, it's already like... A huge fuck you to every creator. Under copper, there's no one size fits all answer about what makes a site directed to children. But we can offer guidance. Yeah, guess what? Guidance is stupid as hell. To be clear, your content isn't considered directed to children just because some children may see it. So, everyone is in the clear, right? But I mean, like, there's this big worry about bots and uninformed people who may think that the content is directed to children and therefore claim a video is falsely marked and fine the viewer, the, the content creator, for whooping up to 42,000. I don't have that money without laying around, especially since that fine is for every video that was falsely marked as for kids or not for kids. That would be the death of me, quite literally. Well, not quite little, really, but you get what I mean. Uh, the rule sets out additional factors the FEC will consider in determining the subject matter. Well, we will come to that later, because that is a whole shit show. Visual content and animated characters. Well, there was an updated thing. The present of child celebrities. Dude. Dudettes, neither, whatever. You all. According to that. Stranger Things and it is for children because it has child actors. Isn't that amazing? That's cool, right? Just this morning I watched it and I was terrified. And I... Uh, there are many subject matter categories where you don't have to worry about copper. For example, if your video is about traditionally adult activities, what, like sex? Oh, wait, that's forbidden on YouTube. I mean, there's actual porn on there, but that's a whole, whole other topic for a whole nother day. 
like employment, finances, politics, home ownership, home improvement or travel. You're probably not covered unless your content is geared towards kids. The same would be true for videos aimed at high school or college students. Oh no, <laughs> pastime, children's pastime activities. I mean, the update fortunately states, just because your video has bright colors or animated characters doesn't mean you are automatically covered by copper. While many anim animated shows are directed to kids, the FTC recognizes there can be animated programming that appeals to everyone. So there goes my argument of <laughs> the FTC falsely claiming Happy Tree Friends with its intestines spilling as for kids. So that's good, I guess. Um, but like here in this survey, it's it's really really questionable. Like, <coughs> on subject matter that is appealing to children. For example, kids jokes. Well, I don't make those. Music. I don't have that anymore since the whole Article 13 thing. Kids games. Well, I don't have those. Video com and computer games. Whoops, there we are. So, do they mean stuff like Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, other kids' games like dress up games and all that? Because I would talk about stuff like Red Dead Redemption, Assassin's Creed, Mass Effect, Duke Nukem, all those. Games that are clearly not for kids. Like that has me worried. Just because I talk about video games doesn't mean my videos are for fucking children. And like fantasy. Like can't I talk about Harry Potter anymore because I really planned to do that at some point. Because, yes, Harry Potter is a children's book, but uh, there are probably more adults out there who enjoy that than kids. And many Harry Potter creators don't intend the video for children. But someone could get the wrong idea and mark a video as falsely claimed for kids and that's the big worry of many people including myself have heck I'm not even sure if I could be fine since I'm located in Germany and this is an American law but since I'm uploaded loading to an American platform I still have to bend to those rules so I'm not sure about what's going on there Presentation. And now comes the tricky part where I really think am I as a non-native speaker fucked because I can't help it but use easy language? Because I'm not as experienced as native speakers? Because it says in the present in the part of the presentation, website of the language of the website such as language that is simple enough to be understandable to children 12 and under. Am I, as a non-native speaker, penalized? Because I use easy language? That doesn't make sense to me. Let's see if I marked something else. No, I haven't, but... I think it's really dumb because if we're honest, to whom is it a surprise that Google collects data? Like so many boomers with their tinfoil hats think your electronic device is collecting data about you. Alexa is always listening. Google Home is always listening. Your phone is always listening, whether you want it or not. Do you want to ban Alexa from 
households with children because Alexa is listening if your kid wants the newest toy and oh surprise suddenly Mr. Parent or Mrs. Parent will get said toy suggested by their next visit on Amazon.com. That's how it works. I talked about my past job being horrible to my mental health and everything and suddenly I got ads for websites that help you find a new job. I never typed that out to anybody. I just talked about it. And so, yes, your device is always listening. Do you want to ban it from households with children? Because that would actually be needed to be done when the world takes effect as it is, I guess. I'm really not sure. And to be honest, the data collection needed for targeted ads is the least thing you should worry about when it comes to protecting children on the internet. There's literal porn on YouTube, which I got to know because uh, it was in its suggested videos on my dad's app. I wanted to show him something and then I saw like, well, obvious porn titled videos. <laughs> It's not nice and like if it, 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 it's unfair that creators get penalized for doing what they like and parents not doing their job in supervising their children. And it doesn't matter if the video is made for kids or not, children will watch anything. Do you know why I mentioned it as an example? Because recently I was in unfortunate circumstances to witness a conversation between my neighbor's kid and his friend. And by the way they're around the age of eight. And they talked about horror, mov horror movies that are out on Netflix such as it and yeah so by the sole definition of having child actors yes it and stranger things are for kids and oh surprise i know a kid who watched that so that's not good children should be supervised on the internet heck I watched the video of the guy getting fucked in the ass by a horse at the soft age of approximately 14 because I was young, dumb and bored. So I took my tiny little grabby hands and wanted to see what all the fuss was about. I also watched Happy Tree Friends at a way too young age because of the colorful happy characters and woodland critters. Like, no, children will watch anything and, and YouTube is just gonna get a whole lot darker because creators are afraid of getting their money taken away because child videos won't have ads anymore. And I deleted almost all of my videos because I'm not sure to what this rule applies and I'm afraid of a fine so I'm going a whole new start of a channel well except for the name and all but I want to make sure from this point on that my videos are clearly not for children I have whiskey in the thumbnail I wear a suit I'm at a fireplace that looks so boring and adult that I hope no one will get the idea that 
my videos are for kids because they are not. I don't like children and I don't want to make entertainment for them. I even made a whole new intro stating that my videos are not for kids because I swear like a fucking sailor if I want to. And yeah, so with that, um, I think I'm gonna wrap up. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my whiskey. And yeah, so leave a comment down below what you think because this is a whole mess. Mm, I'll see that I link some important information down there. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this. And until I have figured out what I can upload next, watch matter stuff that is still left. Bye.